Hello, my name is Metin Arubashar. This is 220th part of explanation of my theory. Yes. According to my theory and my formulas, photonic galactic rotation of black hole doesn't need dark matter fiction. 1. As I told you before, electron motion forms and black holes are the same. Black holes are giant electron motion forms. Their successive light waves, their successive light waves, whether we say light waves or gravitational waves, are the same. 2. When a free electron motion form or a black hole relocates, start to move. When a free electron motion form and a black hole in motion, for each inseparable For each inseparable point of their each ring-shaped spherical cyclical motion surface, point angular momentum, point wavelength, point wave velocity, point linear velocity, point C direction component mass, point C direction component energy, point linear velocity component energy, Point linear velocity component mass vary. They are variable. Point wavelength means as a point arbitrarily chosen inseparable point is, I defined you before, an inseparable point is a photo. As the surface of electron motion form or black hole in motion for first cycle 1,884,000 km per second, whole surface motion, linear velocity for each point. Each inseparable point of these surface in the same time in motion at 1,884,000 km per second, 6.28 times greater than the speed of light. Cycling motion, spherical motion. For first cycle, for each cycle multiplied by wave number. Yes. 3. Imagine a free electron motion form or a giant electron motion form, a black hole. When they are in motion, their point wavelengths, point velocities, photon wavelengths, photon velocities, etc. change arbitrarily chosen an inseparable point, a photon, inseparable photon, in 90 degrees on an electron's or a black hole's spherical ring-shaped surfaces, this point will go on its eternal cyclic motion with its surface. Here. Okay. whether it is at rest or in motion, here linear motion. But here, this black hole, it's, it's axis rotational motion. 
but mainly the law that I put forth is valid for the two cases variable t, linear velocities, angular momentums, etc. Yes. Remember, on the contrary to Kepler's law, when a photon orbits from 90 degree, you see, I hope you see, I hope you see, oh, remember, on the contrary to Kepler's law, when a photon orbits from 90 degree direction to here 0 degree, 90 degree, 150 degrees, okay, 100 and I'm so sorry, 180 degrees, 150 degrees here, again, symmetric 150 degrees, okay, it's symmetric 40 degrees, 0 degree, etc. Remember, on the contrary to Kepler's law, when a photon orbits from 90 degree direction to 0 degree direction, as the distance, okay, as the distance wavelength, yes, as the distance between the photon, a point of surface, and electron motion forms axis between photon point and electron motion form axis distance between the two wavelength between the photon and electron motion forms axis while going from 90 degree to 0 degree will decrease okay decrease remember on the contrary to Kepler's law when a photon orbits from 90 degree direction to 0 degree direction as the distance wavelength between the photon and electron motion forms axis decreases each point's linear velocity decreases from 90 degrees through, through 0 degree also. But while being as this, each point's, each point's mass increase from 90 degrees through 0 degrees, 0 degree, and vice versa. Okay, linear velocity, think of here, greater velocity, but slow, uh, in the direction, zero degree direction, slowest, and here again, through 90 degree or through 150 degree, each point increases. Each point's velocity, linear velocity, increases. Like this. Like this. Yes. Eventually, when a photon orbits around electron motion forms or black holes axis okay as the distance decreasing between them photons linear velocity or orbital velocity decrease and its mass and energy increase and as the distance between the photon and the electron motion forms or black holes axis increasing Photons, linear or orbital velocities increase 
and its mass and energy decrees. Okay. For instance, here, outside, 90 degree, its linear velocity, point velocity, 18.8, 10 to the plus 8 meter divided by second. 40 degree di direction, linear velocity, 7.3, 10 to the 8 meter per square. 45 degree decreases. Okay, then for 150 degree increase again. 90 degree. Okay. Here distance decreases, velocity decreases. This is linear relationship between linear velocity alpha and lin uh, wavelength alpha. Okay. Here. Here. Snapshot. Yes. Now. These cases don't require a fictitious, fictitious dark matter to make them gain mass. Remember they say, accepted physics theories say, first proof of, first, first evidence of dark matter is what? Galactic rotation curve. This curve doesn't obey what? This curve doesn't obey. Kepler's law. But here I show these cases don't obey classical Kepler's law. Okay. These cases don't require a fictitious dark matter to make them gain mass. These cases have nothing to do with the wrong accepted physics charges, attraction, repulsion, forces, or massive points, attraction, forces, pictures. Mass, as I told you before, is mass is intrinsic property of ring-shaped spherical wave with an initial specific wavelength electron motion form or black hole. 4. There is a giant electron motion form or black hole at the center of each galaxy. Black holes, black holes seem to have been rotating around their axis. Although this motion type is not linear motion through the zero degree, it works in similar way in the context of variable values point energy, point mass, photon mass, photon energy. Current galactic objects, current galactic objects seem to have followed these paths, these paths, photonic paths, once upon a time, and still photonic paths. Okay. Electron motion form, black hole is electron motion form and its surface and the other surfaces, waves, what? Go on cycling, okay? And each, of, each point of these surfaces are photons and rotational shape, eternal motion is going on and these are these motions traces, trails. Okay. Current galactic objects seem to have followed these paths, black holes, photons, cyclical motions, motion trails. Okay. Over time. 
current galactic objects seem to have followed these motion, photon motion trails over time. These paths, current galactic objects seem to have followed these photon paths over time, but with not sharing the same point velocities. They have imitated these varying orbital photon speeds as a ratio. These galactic objects, stars, etc. followed a formation process according to these traces, photon traces and trails. These galactic objects, stars, etc. followed a formation process according to these traces and trails of photonic cycles, motions. Electron motion forms or black hole surface motions. Cyclical motions. I will go on explaining my theory and my formulas in details. Have a good afternoon. See you later.